welcome to Revive Kids Online. I am so glad you could join us this morning for our service. We are so excited to get started. Well, we just finished a series called The New Normal, and what is normal for us is always to start with a worship song. So let's get up and jump for joy. Watching the nightly news Don't seem to find the rhythm Just wanna sing the blues Feels like a song that never Stops Feels like it's never gonna Gotta get that fire fire Back in my bones Before my heart Heart turns into stone So when somebody please Pass the megaphone I'll shout it on the count of three get into a costume and go out and work for it. 
And it's not like Christmas where you get a little stocking full. Oh, the Easter Bunny does come and bring a whole basket of Easter candy. But what's more important here is the sweetness we know because Jesus came and loved us. So let's take a look at our Bible story of Easter. God's Story, Easter. So part of God's story is about Easter, and it begins like this. You might know Easter as the Sunday a ginormous bunny hides chocolate inside plastic eggs. But Easter is really all about how much Jesus loves us and how God sent him to rescue us. Remember how the Jews, God's special family, were waiting for a king to come rescue them? Well, Jesus was the king, and this rescue was the whole reason he came to earth. God had already rescued the Jews once before, but this time it was going to include everyone. So one night, Jesus told his friends about the rescue. Exciting, right? But talking about this rescue was sad. That's because Jesus was going to rescue the world by dying. Kids, every mean or bad thing we do deserves punishment. By dying, Jesus took our punishment. Lots of things in life have good parts and bad parts. And just like candy bars are mostly good, as long as you brush your teeth after you eat one, this story is a really good one. Anyway, talking about the rescue made Jesus sad since he didn't really want to die. Thankfully, we can talk to God when we're sad, so Jesus took a few friends into a garden to pray. In the garden, a guy named Judas, who people thought was Jesus' friend, came with some people to help arrest Jesus. Peter, one of Jesus' true friends, was so mad he cut off a servant's ear with his sword. But Jesus didn't want his friends to hurt others, so Jesus healed the ear and let them arrest him. Then Jesus was taken to trial. One of the most powerful men in the city, Pontius Pilate, wanted to let Jesus go. But many of the people wanted Jesus to die. They didn't believe he was the Son of God or any kind of king. Even after all the miracles Jesus did, like healing sick people and making blind people see, they didn't believe in him. The people were so mad, they started yelling, kill him! So Pontius Pilate let the soldiers take Jesus. The soldiers made fun of the idea that Jesus was a king. They put a crown of thorns on his head and nailed him to a cross. Many people watched, but not all of them wanted Jesus to die. His mother and close friends were there too. Just imagine how they must have felt. Once Jesus was up on the cross, the sun stopped shining for three whole hours in the middle of the day. But those soldiers kept right on making fun of him. They said, if you're really God's son, why don't you just call on some angels to save you? Jesus could have called on angels to save him, but he loved us so much that he wanted to rescue us. So instead, he prayed to God, Father, I place my life into your hands. At that moment, Jesus died. When he died, the soldiers who had just killed him realized he really was the Son of God. Later, Jesus was put into a tomb and a big rock blocked the entrance. Jesus' friends thought that was the end. But three days later, God sent an angel to roll the stone away. Don't worry, Jesus could get out on his own. The angel moved the rock so everybody else could see the tomb was empty. Jesus' friends were the first to stop by the tomb. The angel said, He has risen! which is another way of saying Jesus is alive. Nobody could believe it. Jesus took our punishment and then proved he really is the Son of God by coming back to life. Now, if we choose to follow Jesus, God forgives us for all the wrong things we do because Jesus already took our punishment. And that's the story of Easter. But that's not all there is. Here's a quick version of what happened after the angel told the good news. Jesus' friends got scared. Jesus appeared to them. They saw his scars. It was really him. Now they could share the good news too. Jesus appeared to more than 500 people. He went back up to heaven. And the best part? He promised to come back someday for everybody who follows him. And all that is a part of God's story.
Otherwise, they'll find us. Oh, that's right. Oh, but our chocolate might all melt in the sun. <laughs> Not if we eat them fast enough. Oh, sure. Let's pick out. Ooh, what do Ooh. I eat first? I found a Reese's. Did you find one? Me too. Mm, what's better, Reese's or Peeps? Ooh, Reese's. Reese's? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about Reese's or Mini Robin Eggs? Ooh, Mini Robin Eggs. Mini Robin Eggs. Okay. And I love Mini Robin Eggs. But what about Jelly Beans or Cadbury Eggs? Ooh, Cadbury Eggs. Oh. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, look at, I got Reese's eggs and you got Cadbury cream eggs. Yes. Which one's better? Mm, I think I'm going to have to go Reese's. Reese's? Mm, yes. Okay, here's a hard one for you. Uh, solid milk bunny or a hollow milk bunny? I don't know. Call me crazy, but I think the hollow ones are better. You do? Okay. I like solid. Okay, so what's your best Easter candy? Ooh, the Reese's eggs. The Reese's eggs. If you had to choose just one candy, and that's all you're going to get in your whole basket for a whole year, what would you pick? I think Reese's. Reese's? And then next year uh, you could get something different, yes, right? Yes, next year I'd have a whole slew of Cadbury eggs. Okay, well, that's fair enough, but what about Peeps or Jesus? Or, pe or Jesus? Yeah. If you had to choose a basket full of Peeps or Jesus. Well, I love Peeps. I love them regular. I love them stale. I love them when you blow them up in the microwave. I love that too. But, you know, they just can't take the place of Jesus. Jesus is the whole reason we have Easter to begin with. So let's not forget the sweetest part of Easter. He died for us. Yeah, what a sweet guy. He was the sweetest. I'll tell you, Laura, I love Peeps. I love everything about Easter, but I won't choose anything over my Jesus. He's greater than Peeps. He's sweeter than Peeps, and he's the best thing that ever happened to me or you. Yeah, but well, let's see. Yes. Hi, it's Roxy here bringing you today's power verse. He said to them, go into all the world, preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. Okay, everyone, I want you to join me. First, the boys. Okay, boys, stand up and say it with me. He said to them, go into all the world. Preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16:15. Yay, good job, boys. Now the girls, stand up and say it with me. He said to them, go into all the world. Preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16:15. Very good. Now Everybody, all together, one more time. He said to them, go into the, all the world. Preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. Revive Boys and Girls, I hope you realize today when you see candy, to think that Jesus is greater than candy. I hope you have a great big basket of Easter candy when Easter finally comes. But remember that the reason for Easter is that Jesus loved us so much that he gave himself up for us. And boys and girls, when you see candy and Easter, remember that Jesus also said to go out into the world and share the good news that Jesus is sweeter than candy. Jesus is greater than candy, and we'll see you next week on Revive Kids.